In this video, I just want to address base calling for Nanopore. Unlike Illumina, Nanopore is used for long reads of DNA, maybe 100 kilobase pairs. That's a lot. The signal is not perfect, but it's still long read. The idea of Nanopore is using biological pores where the DNA enters and there is a change of electrical signal. This change of signal is recorded by the machine and converted to the bases that we know. The signal is stored in files of FAST5 format. This is later converted to our most common format, which is FASTQ. The FASTQ, of course, is aligned into BAM files, and then we do what we do with BAM files. Call variants, have a look in IGV, or whatever. There are a lot of programs for base calling. Goopy is the most famous, but of course we have others like Albacore, Chiron, and so on. Here is a rough idea of what is done. This is the signal, a little bit vague, and the program try to call it and convert it to reads or to bases. Goopy is supporting different operating systems. Windows, Mac, different flavors of Linux, it can run on CPUs, but you don't want to do that. Goopy is heavily designed for GPU. It uses machine learning, CUDA with NVIDIA. So you need something that works with a GPU. You can install Goopy easily entering the community of Nanopore. You have full instructions there. But my point here is that don't choose the CPU flavor. So how reliant on GPU? OK, I made an experiment. I used a laptop with i9 Gen 8 Intel processor, 12 cores. I tried to base call a full run. It took me around 10 weeks. Yes, this is 10 weeks of full processing on a laptop trying to call those base pairs. I used the server, 32 CPU cores, Zen 2, some epic uh, crazy machine on Amazon. Almost two weeks. I get a crappy NVIDIA card, 1050. It took nine hours. But if you get some medium 2060 RTX, it will take around an hour. So look at the time. Honestly, buying 1050, finishing the run, and then reselling it on eBay, is a great idea to save a lot of time. Now, Nanopore provides also a machine where you can rent it for 10,000 euros per year. I don't think it's worth it. Get yourself a crappy GPU from NVIDIA and uh, it should be enough. You can use this uh, code that uh, I did. I used, so uh, you can uh, try it with your uh, GPU if you want and uh, uh, have a look. Now, the reads after alignment, they will look like this. So as you can see, they will cover all the DNA. The read is really long. But it has a lot of errors. So if you go zoom in, you would see a lot of errors. Some deletions, some insertions. 
That's typical from nanopore. Of course, Gopi will save the data in output folder. This output folder will record the failed reads that uh, Gopi could not uh, call. And then the past, if you open that, you will see your fast view files here. Once you align them, you can use IGV to have a look. And uh, basically that's it.